Hello everyone, welcome to a bit of an interesting banner reaction. I'm DTM as always, and yeah, uh, we already know these units from the Faye channel, but I mean, I obviously have to cover this trailer now that their skills are out, because again, Valentine's Lucina is finally a thing, as well as a full-on Awakening Valentine's banner, and I am just so ecstatic. Oh, you should have seen my live reaction. <laughs> Valentine's banner, let's go. Is that Litha? Is that Litha? Wait, what? Is that? Wait. Huh? What? Yo! What? Yes! 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 My dreams come true! Oh my goodness, this is so good! Yes! Yes! We won! For other festival her first, her first seasonal in like five years. So yeah, I do have a link to that reaction stream um, in the description. But yeah, we didn't know anything about their stats or anything like that, or their skills. Um, besides like a couple, like Croms and Owains, I think. So yeah, super excited to see um, what their preference weapons and their skill sets are, and obviously we'll be analyzing them, so yeah. Without further ado, let us begin, and as always, be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell. Thank you all so 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 much for the constant support, let's continue on. So yes, we do know Lucina, and because I already did do a live reaction, I will pause love, to uh, take a look at their skills, but just I just love this art. It's so good, especially her special attack. So yeah, um, Lucina comes with Gerbera Axe, grants speed plus 3, not slaying, which is a bit of a downside, uh, but if movement assist skill is used by unit or target's unit, Grants neutralizes foe's bonuses during combat to unit and target ally, or unit and targeting ally for one turn. Okay, so this is like, um, similar to what Legendary Lucina's weapon has. Um, and in that it also grants a special effect. It's basically like a link skill with a special effect instead of just stat buffs. And so this one neutralizes foe's bonuses, which is really good, especially for armors um, that aren't running, like, distance, distant defense, or what was it? Close defense? Um, that way, with this, on, at least in the player's hand, you can focus on, like, stance skills instead, and just have Lucina here just neutralizing the bonuses, and you're free to run a stance skills, which means that you're free to run a different B skill instead of maybe like Special Fighter or something along the lines like that. So I, this is a really good support effect. Obviously also benefits herself as well, and I see that she has future vision, so very interesting on an armor, but before we get into that, what else is there? If foe initiates combat or if foe's HP is greater than 75% at the start of combat, grants all stats plus 5 to unit during combat, and reduces damage from foe's first attack during combat by 40%. Okay, so this is, um... So the damage reduction is a bit less than uh, Gustav's one, which is 75%. If the, if the enemy doubles Gustav, which, given how slow he is, is most of the time... <laughs> Unless you are running, like, Fallen Edelgard or something like that. But, yeah, it's definitely looking to be a, more, a very speedy armor, which I think definitely has a good niche. We don't really have a lot of speedy near-safe armors that are meta. And, of course, we have Future Vision, which is a bit insane on an armor. Very interesting. It will allow her to um, definitely be able to position in the armor balls very well. Will definitely be good on Summoner's Duels, that's for sure. <laughs> and obviously this helps out with the uh, buffs and stuff. Alright, I see it. And I see we have Kestrel Stance 3. So yeah, definitely going to be a very speedy armor. Savvy Fighter 3, what is this? If foe initiates combat, neutralizes effect that guarantees foe's follow-up attacks and effects that guarantee that uh, and effects that prevents units follow-up attacks during combat. Okay, so that's NFU for fighters. That is new. And also, if unit's speed is 
Greater than foe speed minus 4 reduces damage from foe's first attack further by 30%. Okay. So, yeah. That stacks multiplicatively on uh, Lucina's, so I think that is roughly, I want to say, around 50% damage reduction. We know it's at least 50% due to the, uh, the combat that we saw during the Fae channel. Now, Null and a few is super good on a unit like Lucina, who definitely wants to stack speed. And that will hopefully allow her to double, especially if she's supported. Um, and yeah. And honestly, being able to prevent doubles by speed stacking with that no follow-up will definitely help. Especially with the all the damage reduction being on the foe's first attack. So yeah, this is really strong, I'd say. And of course, we have AD near save. Unfortunately, not a AS near save, which I think would have been a lot better on Lucina. But I guess we, we'll have to wait for that. But no, Savvy Fire 3 is definitely a really good skill for like speedy armors. And this might be a return, or at least an usherance of the speedy armor meta. Um, so yeah, Valentine's Lucina is definitely an extremely good unit, I'd say. Um... Like, stack, being able to stack speed helps avoid uh, being like checkmated like Brave Alm, for instance, or like other wind sweep effects. Banded Kempf, for example. <laughs> um, Kempf with like wind sweep is actually a menace on AR defense, surprisingly. Um, but yeah, she'll definitely face competition from um, other near safe armors like Brave Edelgard and Valentine's Gustav. Um, Brave Edelgard is also going to get a refine this, uh, early September, so can't wait for that. She'll probably get, like, null armor or something. <laughs> but no, I think Lucina definitely has her niche, um, as a speedy near-safe armor unit. Like, we have Fjorm as a speedy far-safe armor unit, and now we have Lucina as a speedy near-safe armor unit. So a lot of so a lot of speedy armors, and I definitely do appreciate it that. And if worse comes to worse, she does have that support with a future vision and uh, neutralizing the foes' bonuses, which is definitely extremely helpful, especially in Summoner's Duels, where bonus doubler Elliewood is apparently a thing. <laughs> we'll finally be able to defeat those Noes, hopefully. No, definitely a very strong unit, um, and I definitely do think she has a place. Very excited, too. This will probably be my first near-safe armor unit. Yeah, as you can see, she doubles there, and that's probably what you want her to do. Like, double, you can run, like, a Breath Seal, and maybe get, like, an Ignis proc, which would be really good. It'll depend on her stats, but I really hope she's extremely speedy. Alright, Robin is also an armor, and is far safe. We have AD far safe this time, which is pretty cool. We haven't had that yet. Uh, even follow-up is meh. Don't really like that skill. Iceberg is okay, I guess, but again, it's just a generic special that you can always inherit. But let's see, Akamenis Furl. Is that how you pronounce that? Accelerate special trigger. All right, so we have uh, slaying. That's good. And then grants effects based on the number of movement types on the current team excluding unit. Oh, so this is like tactics or something like that. If uh, less than or equal to one, which it'll always be one. Um, inflicts attack, defense, uh, res minus 5 on foes. Okay, so this is just a debuff, which is really good, especially as a support option as well. Um, if less than or equal to 2, reduces damage from foes first attack during combat by 30%. Okay, so this also gives damage reduction. This is to the unit itself, and it's only 30%, but 30% is really strong. And... Yeah, you'll basically always have, like, at least two movement types, right? Um, unless you... Like, most dancers are flying, and... Most people don't have a flying carry. <laughs> it's either infantry or armor. So, yeah, that will be pretty easy to deal with. To, like, proc. And then if less than or equal to three, grants... When unit deals damage to foes during combat, restores 5 HP. So this is just a little bit of extra healing, but it's also to the allies within 3 spaces of combat. So again, that support also really helps, and actually it does synergize as well. Like, you don't need to run Mystic Boosts. I mean, you still can, and that'll give like 12 HP of healing each time, so that could be really good. But yeah, this basically gives, um, what was it? Unity Blooms? 
whatever weapon Henriette's weapon had to, like, all the units within um, three spaces, assuming you meet this condition, of course. So yeah, definitely a very interesting um, far save. I don't think she... We, again, we'll have to see her stats, but I don't think she will be better than Brave Hector or Fjorm. Um, again, it's going to be very tough to challenge Fjorm and Brave Hector as a far save unit. And unfortunately, I don't think this does it. Um, but... Like, it's still going to be a pretty strong unit and a solid option, I'd say. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, we have... Please accept this. I'm just so glad Robin finally got an ult as herself and not Grima. What was her last time she was herself and not Fuck. Grima? I have been was it her summer ult? That was so long ago. Flowers. Wow. Okay, now we have Owain, best boy, here as a Lance Cav, which we see her, we see his stats. But Lance Cavs uh, are an extremely competitive class, like especially with brave Erica's and brave Elliewoods all around. So I feel like he's mostly going to be fodder, unfortunately. So let's see what he has. Blue Flame is good fodder for a four star, although I wouldn't consider this F two P because it's not in the normal summoning pool. Piercing Tribute, what does this do? If foe initiates combat or if foe's HP is greater than 75% at the start of combat, grants all, grants attack speed plus 5 to unit and neutralizes effect that guarantees foe's follow-up attacks during combat. Okay, so this is like half of NFU plus uh, attack speed plus 5. I'd say that's a pretty decent weapon um, for a lance. Um, pretty decent, especially for... Uh, Wait, this is, um, this is, this is, uh, this is foes initiate combat. Although, again, most Gale Force play, most player phase plays will probably have foes HP greater than 75%. So it's not too bad to use on the player phase. But no, this is probably going to be mostly an enemy phase, uh, probably a speedy lance tank. Um, so yeah. Uh, do we have any free lance FTP armors? Behold the power of I can't remember any. But yeah, Owain, 4-star demote. Uh, let's see how powerful this. We already saw fate, uh, to change fate. So, it's the day of devotion. yeah. Uh, I was expecting Robin to say something. What? Immersion ruined. Uh, Destiny's bow accelerates special trigger. Slaying is good. Effective against flying and armor foe. So it's like a legendary crom then in that he's also effective against armor. Um, if a movement assist skill is used by blah blah blah, grant special cooldown count minus one to unit and target ally once per turn only. Okay, so this is like, um, basically on-demand uh, dual Alphonse skill, half of dual Alphonse skill to two units, it's themselves and uh, the targeting unit, essentially. That is really, really good, and so good, especially for Gale Force. Um, unfortunately, it seems like to change fate has the isolation, but you can always swap out to change fate for like reposition or smite if you really want to. But no, this is really good. I don't know why you want to ch change to change fate though. <laughs> yeah, this is really good. And then of course, um, if unit initiates combat or is with two spaces of ally, grants all stats plus five, and units makes a guaranteed follow up attack. So I'm gonna. So yeah, we already know his stats. So Krom is pretty slow. So he definitely needs that uh, guaranteed follow-up attack. Unfortunately, um, I think a uh, brave Hector prevents uh follow-ups, right? So that would just go down to a speed check. I don't know if brave Hector can avoid the speed check for Krom. We will have to double check on that. Um, this will brave Hector. I mean, Fjorm will definitely outspeed, and I think has. The NFU effect, the half of NFU effect that neutralizes uh, the auto double from Krom. But again, like, Fjorm is going to be, it's going to be very scary for Fjorm, especially with the armored uh, <laughs> effectiveness. So yeah, this, this, this is definitely a very powerful weapon. And then close to battle um, is basically like distant pressure, except attack and close call. I don't, again, I don't really like these skills because of the recoil damage. I think close counter or 
actually like close foil is just a lot better. <laughs> like just run close foil and we're all good. Like the only units you don't counter attack then are dragons and I would hope that you'd ha be able to outplay that. But yeah. Yeah, dragons aren't really that meta still, despite me thinking that, you know, they're super powerful now and have a really good place, but I guess they're just not popular. Except for Noe. Noe's are everywhere. <laughs> so yeah, that would be a pre-charged dead eye, effectively. A um, gift for you. And yeah, that's the uh, close counter coming into effect. Let's see what this dual skill does. Inflicts attack speed, defense, res, minus 5 on unit, and allies themselves. Okay, so I'm assuming there's going to be a unity effect associated with this. Um, grants grant strategy, and then grants for one turn foe cannot make a follow-up attack, so that's the other half, so that's sort of a pseudo no follow-up. Um, maybe maybe if you proc the dual skill, you can't deal with Hector. Maybe. Grant strategy. Grants bonus to attack, speed, defense, res during combat equals to current penalty on each of unit's stat times 2. Four, one. So basically, yeah, it's Unity, essentially. I don't know why they don't just call it Unity, <laughs> but I guess IS has their consistent naming convention. So yeah, this will be extremely toxic for um, a couple of characters. I'm thinking like, uh, you can do like triple Unity Legendary Marth. <laughs> that sounds like super disgusting. <laughs> I mean, the good news about this is that it is a dual skill, so like dual hindrances are everywhere on Aetherade, so really the only place where you will encounter this against you is Summoner's Duels. Um, and yeah, if you run like Legendary Marth, uh, this is super busted. Thankfully, it's only one turn, but like still. Like you can combine this with also the bonus doubler from Legendary Eliwood too, and just like have buffs all the ways. Yeah. Very disgusting. <laughs> and can be very degenerate. Although again, it is hindered by the fact that it is a dual skill and therefore is only effective for one turn, at least in Summoner's Duels. So if you can survive the initial onslaught, you should be fine. And so as someone who is using this dual skill, if you're going to use it, you need to make it count, right? So yeah. Be it's a very good dual skill. Um, probably not as good as either uh, Self Dance or Dual Peonies or something, just because I think those are a lot more universal than um, than relying on specific uh, like Triple Unity or Unity. Because at the end of the day, those are stat checks and not like extra utility. But don't get me wrong, this will be still very powerful. And yeah, we have Lissa here as our Tempest Trials unit. And yeah, again, a different reaction stream, sort of, <laughs> if you can even call it that at this point. And of course, uh, we will be um, having the Fae Pass exclusive Sparse, which I do not have. So sad. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Be on the lookout for a summoning stream on this uh, sometime after the... Valentine's Banner releases. I don't know exactly when, because this week has been a bit busy for me, but do expect a summoning stream soon. I'll definitely be announcing it on Twitter or in the community tab, so be sure to either follow me on Twitter or um, keep up to date on the community tabs there. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed my initial first impressions, and if you do, be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell, all that jazz to us for the channel. It only takes 5 seconds to subscribe, but it truly does help support the channel and the algorithm, and I really do appreciate all the constant support. Yeah, let me know what you think of these units now that we know their skills and preference weapons, and yeah, see y'all next time.